Okay, so now we're going to be working on the next set of colors, and that's going to be the red colors. Now, I was thinking of using hot me hot metal, but I want to give transparent red a try. It's very red-ish, you could say, a little bit more stronger. The problem is with this red that even even though it's thinned up and whatever. It comes out weird. Very weird. Ah, shoot. Hang on a second. And I was testing it out on some on some on some uh, parts on areas that I know was not going to be shown through uh, through the armor. And I'm not feeling it, but I, I, I want to give it a, a chance, just a tad. So, we're going to try this guy here. Let's see, here it is. And I'm going to paint it from a distance. Now, it's weird because I, I have it set to... I have it set to um, 15 PSI. It says in the bottom uh, 12 to 20 PSI. But it's forming up this little spiderweb thing, which I'm now hesitant to continue. But using a piece of cloth, which I thought I had here. Yeah, let me use this one. Sorry. It was, uh... There we go. So, using this off here, if I wipe it off... It shows off the, the metallicness of it. But I would have to do multiple applications. And then I'm just trying to do like short bursts here. There we go. Now it's coming out smoothing. Looks like this thing dries up very fast. Let's try something else. We'll, we'll, let's try the bottom of this foot. Move that here. My room is well ventilated and it's very cool, so I don't know why this is doing this, but if it, maybe it's supposed to be like that, maybe I just need to wipe, let me see what the bottle says, uh, okay, clear, next on, ensure surface is clean, large areas, missed one even coat at 10 minutes, now apply a heavier coat. Then finish to blah 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 blah. Apply. It doesn't say anything, but that's pretty much a good effect of the of the color. So I'm gonna give it a few minutes, and then I'm gonna wipe it off with the cloth. Let's try this guy here. Yeah. yeah it's weird. Let's try the other one. Um, okay, this one. I know that with Elkla Pot you can actually um, uh, polish them, and that's good, you know. Just 
don't know how well this is. And, and I see the part, certain parts are very reflective, but will it dull it out? I, I don't know. I, I just don't know yet. I'm taking it. Ch I'm taking a chance with this, and uh, I'm going to try that technique in a few moments. Let's try this shield. I know this. Is, I may be damaging this, but I I'm going to do it either way. And it's going to be a full blast. I was supposed to paint the inside, I didn't mean, didn't realize it. I'll give a, I'll give it a heavier coat later on, but for now, let me just get this out of the way. Uh, let's do one last one. Let's try the crotch area of this. Very weird, but. Well, once I finish this, I will polish it off and see how it looks. We'll do a review of all the parts later on. So let me just continue with this, okay? Okay, now the next stage is going to be the some of the trim parts that are kind of like an orange color. And for those of you who don't know, it's these parts here which is a slightly darker tone of the yellow. To me, it's almost orange in, in, in one aspect. And I was going to use one of the gold pa paints um, for this. Um, one in particular was going to be something darker, like uh, pale gold. It had a darker tone, or brass. But after reviewing the gold that I applied onto the V-fin, it's pretty much another layer of color. You don't really, I, I didn't really need to do chrome that up. So, I made a decision, and I'm deciding to use clear orange from Mr. Hobby. This is um, gloss. I thought this would probably be more appropriate. We're going to try it on this little guy right here. the lighting for it. There we go. So there's the part here. Let's see how it looks. This thing dries up fast, so... This, of course, reminds me of the techniques that I was using when I was painting uh, the, my first metallic uh, kits by chroming the underside and then applying a clear, coat, a clear color over it. But I was using uh, acrylic-based paint and not th this. That one looks a lot better. Much better. Let's try something a little bit more bigger. So, you all remember this? This is what the color, what it looked like under it. a gold tone, of course. Hmm. 
Huh. Looks good. Okay, I kind of like this. Very nice. Didn't realize it was turn, going to turn gold either way. Alright, this is actually starting to come out pretty good. Why is I why is choice to use this and not use one of my alkali pinks? Okay, so we've already taken care of these. Let me finish it up because after this I'm gonna try something cool. Alright, so I'm in the middle of touching up my kits. Now I'm going to be working on hot metal blue. See how this looks. We got this guy right here. This is the trim parts in the chest. the whole thing because just the the uh, trim here is going to be the one that stores. Look at that. Anyway, the other light wasn't on. There we go. Okay. Give it another pass in a few moments, but we're going to be spray painting other parts with this color. Like the trim part here, that's in the, uh, that holds the, uh, um, waste missiles. Almost a turquoise color, but... This should be okay. And then let's do this one. At one point, I wanted to cover this with masking tape and spray paint it, and then um, not spray paint the gold over it. But let's see how it looks with this. It's, it's okay. Maybe it's a different tone, but it should be okay. Alright. So I gotta do a few of these. And see how it comes out. <laughs> 